Hello there, Master Hellish here, and welcome back to my open TTD Let's Play Series 6. We're doing the UK Quad Challenge. Now, if you're playing along, get your game saves for the year 2000 over to me. I've had a few people give them to me already. We're getting close to the point where we're going to be reviewing your games and seeing how you're getting on with the challenges. Now, before we crack on with the various different things that we're going to be doing today, a few interesting pieces of news. First up, I visited York Railway Museum and I managed to get a few postcard souvenirs and I'm going to be giving some of them away. So make sure you're following on Discord or social media to find out about those giveaways and the details about how you can take part. Secondly, and probably even more brilliantly, I'm going to be doing my festive charity livestream on the 18th of December, and it's going to be 100% open TTD this year. Every now and then we have a big open TTD one, and this year is the year we're going to be doing that. So again, watch out on social media for all the details. We're going to be having giveaways, we're going to be doing mini competitions within the open TTD game. I've got all sorts of different things planned, uh, so follow along, get that date in your diary, come along, we're going to be announcing the charity sometime soon as well. It's going to be great fun and hopefully we'll raise some money for a worthy cause too. But that is enough of the upcoming information-ness, now we crack on with today's stuff. So today is another kind of fixing, finding a problem and improving episode. Uh, we have to do these on this sort of network. Um, one of the reasons is I'm lazy and sometimes I make something and... I just don't make it well enough for it to be good in the future. And the other reason is that in this game we didn't have a lot of money to start with. So I've cut corners, I've made things smaller than what they probably needed to be. Now thank you very much for your comments. Uh, like I say, I do read them all. And one of the comments did mention that this signal is the wrong sort of signal. That is true. It is only a, uh, it is a, the wrong way around. So we'll get rid of it. It was a one-way path, and on the end of these platforms, we want a standard path signal rather than a one-way path signal. And that was just the one little fix that I've noticed in the comments. Now, oh, excuse me, my voice is going. Hang on a minute. Ah, there we go. Bit of peach water. That'll help solve that problem. And a bit of coughing as well. Right then, so what we have here is a new locomotive, and this is a significant milestone and a simple point in the game where we have to make a big decision. Are we going to use the maglev trains? Now, at the moment, it's just the manufacturer offering us kind of like a year's exclusive use of the vehicle. We're going to decline it, so we know that next year we're going to be able to start using monorail, which we can't do just yet. Now, I always upgrade from electric to maglev, and I skip monorail, because the gap between the when the trains are released is actually quite small-ish, and I don't think there's that much um, reward versus the effort of upgrading twice. In any case, there's Newark now with its full new station. We've still got other stations on the network like Peterborough that's waiting for me to be able to blow up more land. Like, well, they still won't allow it. Silly Pe Peterburians or whatever you call them over there. Um, and we're just going to see if there's any big problems we can fix, first of all. Is there anything screaming out, oh dear, this is not right. Let's see what's going on. So total waiting cargo, Doncaster, Peterborough, Corsham Interchange, of course. We know Corsham Interchange are pain in the... Ah, right. Disfarm Hub. What's going on over here? Well, to me, it just looks like we haven't got enough trains coming through. That's relatively easy fixed. We can clone that one, clone this one, and then clone both of those a couple of times and send them on the way. That should fix the problems down there. And then uh, we've got this uh, Thruston Farm Hub. Now this is the one that we was having some problems at. And I don't know if this one's fixed itself yet. Uh, let's have a look. So it is loads of tons to east in. But this train isn't picking it up. Oh, it is picking it up, but it's... 
It's the livestock. It does go to East Inn, doesn't it? Comes up here, across there, into East Inn. We got a problem where the trains can't get up there or something. Let's have a look. Okay, so that piece of track is intact. We've got some signals here in a depot, but that's fine. We've got a merge here. We've got trains still using that bit of track. And it can get through here. And that does go to East Inn. So it's not a problem. Should be fine. Should be fine. And actually I can see some trains making their way that way now. Hmm. How strange. Yeah, this loading is really weird. Items from here, items from this station. And the trays just aren't really loading. Look, it's just sat there on 20-something percent. Hmm. And we only get the odd bit reserved for loading. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is weird. Look, we're getting grain from the farm hub and from east. Which is this one. But none of the other places are going onto that train. Hmm. Okay, this is something that's a bit weird. Why is only certain things loading here? Let's have a look at what this has got going for it. So this has got going to the farm hub. Yep, yeah, transfer and leave empty. Yep, yeah, that's all fine. These trains, where are these trains gone? They are going there and leaving empty. Farm hub, transfer and leave empty. And there's no cargo waiting. But I'm going to try and pause the game when cargo comes in. There we go. And these are all wanting to go to East Inn. So that's fine. And they're getting picked up and transferred over here. Hmm. I'm not sure. That train's certainly going to East Inn. So is that one, and it's full loading any cargo at the hub. Let's get it to skip its order a little. I think this is this is one that we've come back to a couple of times. There's something wrong here, and I don't know what it is. I've had a few suggestions in the comments, and I've looked into your suggestions. And I don't think it's any of them. I think there's something else going on here. So we'll have to figure out that later. So let's crack on with the station list again. We've got a loads of coal sitting here at the pickup. 5,000 tonnes of the stuff. Goods out is struggling. Like, um, I, Looking like we just need to throw more trains at it. So let's do that. get some more trains from there and we'll do more trains here but we've we've increased the capacity of the line recently so we should be fine uh, in fact how many hmm, is there a way to say how many trains are going down each line there isn't is there because it's just one station Ugh, never mind never mind it's all right uh, and what else can we looking at where else are we looking at? Okay. Um, this farm hub's looking better already. This hub over here, not looking great. But how many trains are coming to it? A, a good, decent number of trains are coming through here. Wow. How far has it got to go? Oh, it's quite a long line. It is quite a long line. Okay, so I can, I can imagine we need quite a few trains. So let's clone... The grain train, and we'll try and find a livestock. Sometimes you just need to throw more trains at it. Sometimes there's something else going on. So, of course, then Manchester is getting really busy. 
Um, we I don't know what the Manchester to uh, where's it gone? The Manchester to B -B Birmingham lines like where's it gone? There's Birmingham. So if we have a look, we've got plenty of trains which is which are coming through this station. They're all making fantastic amounts of money. Look at that. That one made 0.6 million last year. Absolutely brilliant. We've got a lot of pan passengers that want to go to Manchester from Birmingham. A lot. And I bet we've got a lot at Manchester that want to go to Birmingham. But then have we got some here that want to go to London? Yeah, it's a pretty even split. Hmm. Okay, let's put some more in. We'll clone that train. We've got plenty of money. We've got 300,000. So we can afford to get extra trains on the track. Let's have a look at our operating profit. Are we getting a bit of a rise? Yeah, overall, the work we're doing on the network is good. When we started out around the 8 million, 9 million mark, and now we're up to, with a new financial results, around 13, 14 million. So that's not too bad. Uh, how are we doing at Steel Out? Steel Out has got way too much steel at it. Just going to have to throw... We just need more trains. Now, one of the things is, is that the longer you run these networks, if you make good networks, then the amount that the primary industries are making increases. So you've got 72% transported there, 70 there. Look at that. That one is making... 693 tons of iron ore a month 432 117 that's not including the stuff that's been brought in down here from these places that's 144 that's 207 so there's a lot coming through and there's not a lot of iron ore sat there but uh, we certainly need to make sure we've got enough iron ore trains here so the longer that we're running these services, the more stuff's coming down the network. And the more stuff that's coming down the network, the more we're going to have to shift. Um, this one's relatively new. It's still making 261. So we're going to have to get even more steel trains. Um, and I think we just need more trains. It's just a train bonanza. It really is. Goods Out is still struggling. Um, this this farm is struggling quite badly on livestock, apparently. What's on that train? That one's completely empty. What about this one? That one's empty. Well, I'm confused. Why are the trains leaving empty? Cannot reach. Oh, wow. We've got a warning. They cannot reach this farm hub. Well, they shouldn't be going to this farm hub. Oh, look at this. Okay. All these trains have a problem. So I'm going to say all the trains going here. Uh, Centre depot. That is that is possibly part of the problems that we've been having down here. Like trains are trying to get from this hub over to that hub. And the orders have gone a bit funny. What about these ones? That one's doing it as well. Yeah, those ones are. Oh, oh no. Okay, uh centre depot. This could be part of the problem. Okay, are they the only ones on this side? Yep. Yeah. Where are these ones going between? Okay, that's all fine. So, let's just wait for these last ones to get in the depots. And then what I'm going to do... No, 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 turn around. Depot. I'm going to remove all the trains at set one. And then this train, we're going to make sure we break the shared orders. 
and just remove all the orders and start again. So full load here, go down here and transfer, transfer, transfer is here, there. And then I'll clone that a few times. So this is where we've actually found a problem. By looking at the station list, seeing that things are just building up and building up and building up. Again, we've got one train running up and down here, so that's fine. We'll just get rid of all the other ones. And then we'll sort this one out. We'll go down the bottom. This one's been unlinked anyway, so let's get rid of all the orders. Start again. Full load here, any cargo. Come down here and transfer. Okay. Now it's saying it can't reach this station. I think it's lying. It's just confused. So there we go. Now we might be able to look down the train list just to see if any other trains have that particular problem. Like have the warning signs on them. I don't know if it comes up in the train list. Just having a quick scroll down through them. Hmm, not seeing any warning signs there. Maybe I should have kept the ones with warning signs just so I could have a look to see. How many trains have we got? Absolutely loads. Oh, oh, did I see one then? Yep, here we go, look. Here we go, we've got some warning signs. Oh, we got trains stuck here again. This happened before. Right, I'll, I'll do something about this. Right. So this junction here is not right. For some reason... The trains are coming across this way and getting stuck. I have no idea why or how. But let's just take that out. There we go. Oh, this is weird because the diagonal's going upwards. Uh, I don't like working with diagonals like this. Um, oh, what's the easiest way for me to do this? Uh, I can't think. My brain stopped working. Okay, I'm going to tunnel this way. Is that right? No, we need to go one more back. There we go. And then we can just put a little divot in here. Pop a... Oh, divot needs to move forward. Yeah, pop a tunnel in. Hopefully that should fix that one. I wonder if we've actually had anything come in at Saxelby South. Yeah, we had no ratings at all. So some of these trains... Look, this one's lost. It's trying to go to Saxby South. There, look, we've got the signals the wrong way around. That's why it's having the problem. And this, this side's okay. Oh, look at that. Let's remove that signal. Pop another signal in there. There we go. That's why that one's been going horribly wrong. So these should now start fixing themselves. Now let's have a look at that train list again. Can we sort by... Uh, not timetable delay. I, it's too bad we can't sort by warning sign. Or, or we can group by shared orders. That'd be interesting. I don't normally do that because I don't normally need to. Okay, let's just go down the list again. See if we've got any more warning signs. Not seeing any, but we got halfway through last time before we saw any. I don't know if I might miss one because I'm going really quick. I don't want to spend all of today just looking up and down this list. But there's another one. We'll click on it and we'll carry on. And we are most of the way down. That train might be just one that's on one of the lines we fixed, but it's just getting a little bit confused for now. Okay, I think we are good. Right, cannot reach Saxelby South. Uh, that's a, that's where we are. So I think once that train gets to Ruskington Farm, turns around and goes back again, it look we've got our first train in there now. We know that we're doing something because we've actually got some ratings. Brilliant. Uh, is Saxelby South actually covering both farms? No, that's a new farm, isn't it? Let's just do a little expansion. There we go. 
We'll just expand Saxby South into there. We're nearly into Lincoln. We haven't got anything in Lincoln. We've, we've had Lincoln. Lincoln was actually one of the main towns in my first series. My first Let's Play series. Um, and, hey, I look. Whee, the train's actually going the right way. Okay. This farm hub is still um, having problems, but it's, I think, only having problems due to needing more trains. It certainly feels that way. So we'll throw some more trains at it. Um, goods out. Still not shifting enough goods to, uh, from goods out. The lines are looking a little bit more busier now. I mean, in some areas, there is a little bit of slowing down. But overall, it's getting really busy down the London end. We're starting to get close to capacity. Which is a little bit of a shame. Let's throw a few more in. Oh, is that facing the right way? Yeah, it is. And did I set those ones going? Yes, I did. Okay. We're getting close to capacity on that line now. So there's only so much we can do. Uh, this farm hub uh, is working. For, well, where's that other farm hub gone? It's gone off the list. Where is it? Uh, I think we fixed it. We fixed it. Uh, where's it gone? Here. Are they coming in and just picking stuff up now? Is the routing just working? As soon as this grain train finishes loading or has allocated all its loading, that one should just start loading. So, sometime very soon? No. It might take time for that to fix. Okay, well maybe now that we've fixed it, next time maybe it'll be okay. Uh, what else have we got? We've got loads of steel still. Still, I've already thrown more trains at it. And this line is a line that we doubled up a while ago. And I think... I mean, it's not actually at full capacity. We've got a lot... We've actually got a lot of capacity on this line. I mean, up here it's a bit busy, just because we've had a few trains break down. Which is a shame, because that's they've just gone past the places where they would service. Um, but overall... I bet these steel trains are bringing in some decent money as well. Like 165, 155. We look at the list of trains here. Yeah, bringing in some decent money. Okay, so hopefully we fi fixed a lot of problems. We just need to... Throw more trains at it. There we go. Let's check uh, some of these mines down here. Actually, let's go a little bit further down the list. Because all of these places just... Actually, let's just ignore passengers and mail. So all, and then hold control and turn those ones off. There we go. That's better. Now we can focus properly on the cargo network. So we've got a few of these mini hubs that need... A couple more trains that's only going to make things worse because if we are picking up more iron ore we're gonna to need to shift more steel um, let's see we've done that one yep this one over here what on earth what oh I see picks up from there comes down here where does that go all right, okay. This is this is all a little bit different, but we'll, we'll still clone the train anyway. There we go. We've got over eight hundred uh, trains now. Uh, goods out is still having problems. Mostly looking okay. We've got a coal mine over here that's having some problems. Presumably just because we need more trains. So let's throw a couple of trains in, and while we're at it, let's get rid of. That little piece of rail that sometimes causes some problems. Oh, didn't mean to do that. 
Did I get the piece of rail? Nope. There we go. So overall, that's looking okay. We've actually got one of the uh, oil stations, which is um, filling up. So I guess a couple more boats. Throw some boats at it. We're not just doing trains today, ladies and gentlemen. We're doing all sorts. Goods out. I don't think we're going to be able to shift any more goods than what we're shifting. Uh, Whole Beach Factory is up to 4,350 crates of goods, which is not too bad. If we come over to the Exeter Challenge, our Exeter City is now up to uh, 53,000 in population. is growing every four days, and of course we can fund new buildings to make that every three days for a while. And what's the other one? Oh, the, High the Highland Highway Challenge. Well, that's okay. I mean, I don't know what the overall profit is uh, but a lot of the road vehicles like sometimes never have any profit and then have a half decent amount and I, I wonder what the overall is let's see if we can figure that out so if we go into road vehicles yes and then if we group by shared orders not quite sure what's going on <laughs> oh, okay these are all the different oh wow so we've got one vehicle here doing something by itself over at stevenage holt stevenage just hasn't grown very well local authority uh fun statue company owner fun new buildings and just grow please stevenage you're, you're holding everybody back maybe we need another bus Clone vehicle. Let's have get. Let's get another three. There we go. Right. Let's bring up the vehicle list again, and we are grouped by shared orders. We've still got one vehicle in Doncaster going around by itself, but Doncaster is plenty big enough now. I think. Yeah, Doncaster's growing nicely. So actually, we can retire this vehicle, and we can get rid of uh, these four pieces of property the vehicle itself and the depot brilliant now back to what i was trying to look for in the first place so we've got some routes here with loads of road vehicles on and these are shared orders and the orders are go is the edinburgh, edinburgh to glasgow so that's not the one we want it's probably this one yeah the inverness to glasgow so this is the one i was querying so overall the profit last year is not bad. That's that's 0 0.7 of a million profit from those vehicles there last year from the high, Highway Challenge. That's really good. That is really good, that is. What place have we only got two vehicles going around? Newark. Newark, if I remember correctly, the size of Newark's actually not that big. No, it's not. Let's see if we can help. We'll fund new buildings. We'll build a statue of the company owner. Just statues of company owner all over the place. That's what we really need, isn't it? Right then, uh, what's next? Let's have a look at the operating profit. Yep, that is still nicely growing. Well, it should be. The number of trains we've managed to get has been growing. Now, the thing is, we haven't actually added much infrastructure. We've been fixing things and adding trains, which is brilliant. Because that means the costs of our maintenance, our infrastructure, hasn't gone up. You can see here we're spending $62 million a year on keeping the place up and running. Station tiles, uh, signals is a big cost, and of course the electrified railway. So we've got some road vehicles that don't make a profit every year, but that's not a problem. Let's see how the Birmingham train's getting on. Quite a few passengers to London West. Right, how's London West looking? Yeah, a, a, a little bit of a, a, a group of um, passengers there. We'll, we'll clone that and send a, a few more. And we'll also get rid of the naughty piece of track. There we go. Right then, folks. Overall, things are going quite well in the network. Our, our infrastructure is able to cope with more trains. We've just thrown more at it. And that's because of the things that we've been doing over the last few episodes. All the way back to when we upgraded the steel network to be dual line. 
Uh, that is something that's going to really start coming into its own now. We're going to we're going to start finding tons and tons of steel here, despite having train after train after train coming through. We might have to improve the exit uh, just to allow trains to flow through here better. Um, the more that we run our services, the more our ratings go up. The more we're going to start having places like this where we're making 351 tons of iron ore at a primary industry uh we've got a little bit of a backlog of trains here but that's fine that's fine there's, there's plenty of iron ore to go around and uh, of course it doesn't it doesn't stop there i mean we've got the little bits that go into wales here we've got the ships that come around the top um we've got the coal network down here i want to know how well this coal network's doing so overall this coal network can we find if we do group by shared orders i haven't got a clue uh i i don't i wouldn't know where to find a train in that list um i mean we can get the train informations up but let's just have a quick look here so our biggest group is this group down here. Oh, and it's, of course, it's 124 trains which is doing the uh, goods out to London goods run. And that is making us 17 million a year last year, which is absolutely fantastic. And we're in July and we've, all, we've nearly got to 10 million this year, so that's good. And then the next one is the steel. So for us, it's the goods and the steel. Then it's the passenger network. Uh, so it's the East Coast passenger network. And then the South Coast passenger network. After that, it's the dual coal hub setup. And then the coal trains. So just to reiterate, okay, across our network, let's get the world map up. Why not? Um... There we go. Turn the town names off. And this is going to be a little bit of a screen fight, but I'll try and get it on there. So the most successful networks in our Let's Play so far is the uh, main goods line from the factory down to London. There's just so many trains on that line shifting goods constantly. It's not a surprise. The next one is the steel line, which is this big line across the middle of the country here. Again, lots of trains constantly moving down a dual track. It, again, it's not surprising that that's the second one on there. And then the two passenger services are next, which I'm a little bit surprised about. So we've got the East Coast Main Line uh, that comes up from London here through Stevenage, Peterborough, Newark. Um, Doncaster uh, and then up to York and then the next one that's doing um, just as nearly just as well is the London to Exeter line here so we're doing quite well just out of interest I wonder how well the Birmingham ne um, passenger networks doing have we got another passenger network hmm, there's one here Yep, yeah, that's the Birmingham network. So the Birmingham network comes in at three, four, five, six, seventh place. Well, there we go, folks. A little bit more extra information about how our network's going. You can see how it's growing across the country. Uh, we have ventured up into Scotland and into Wales now. So we're getting close to starting to think about this new island challenge. But it's going to cost so much money. So, so much money to do it. Um... We just need to get this operating profit to climb as much as possible so that money's coming in and in and in. It might be that we need to convert to maglev before we actually start the new island challenge. And having all this money put to one side ready for that change is probably going to be very important. But we're going to leave it there for now. Overall, I'm really happy with the way that this is going. And I've been loving seeing all your comments and seeing how you guys are getting on. Because some of you coming over to the Discord and chatting about OpenTTD, the games that you've been playing, not just in the challenge that we're doing here, but all the other different bits and bobs that's going on as well. So I'm really looking forward to that. And don't forget, a big, massive OpenTTD game on the 18th of December for our charity stream. So make sure you check that out when it comes round to it. Put it in your diary. 
calendar, stick a post-it note to your forehead, whatever you need to do, and I will see you there. Remember all your thoughts, ideas, and questions down in the comments section, and I will see you soon. But from me for now, thanks for watching, and goodbye.